And if you don't think that the military is going to do this to insurrections, if there's some kind of a civil war in this country or a revolution or, you know, an armed resistance, you're out of your mind. Of course they're going to use this technology. This is what it's for. Uh, the two models being introduced are the Dazer Laser Defender and the Dazer Laser Guardian. These non-lethal weapons have the ability to control uh, threat threats at the range of one meter to get this, 2,400 meters. 2,400 meters. You know, just so people know, because I know there's a lot of dumb people out there, and I'm not saying my audience, but maybe you're sending this to a friend, and they're like, a meter? Well, that's three feet. <laughs> yeah, it is three feet. It's a yard. So... 100 yards is a football field. 24 football fields is the range of this thing. 24. Do you get it? I mean, you don't even have to know they're coming to get you for them to hit. I mean, you're literally standing there and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And you're, you're, you're tossing cookies. You can't hold anything. You have no idea what's going on. And then the nice men in black uniforms come and pick you up and bring you to the nice little camp. Oh, don't worry, there's a bed there and some food. It's a great place to go. So, I mean, the, the technology, I mean, we are seeing, I mean, yesterday, folks, we reported on drones in the Middle East that they're taking small GPS devices, little microchips, the ones the size of a grain of rice, the guys randomly throwing them everywhere, families' homes, women's homes, children's homes, no big deal, and they are being guided, guided into oblivion. In other words, you know, they're, they're shooting missiles at these things, and it's happening. They, they put them in cars. They'll follow the cars. Oh, Jason, you're making this up. They, it can't be that bad. It can't be that technocratic, can it? Oh, it, it can, and it is. I mean, that's the reality. And you know what? One of the bigger stories, I don't know how much Jones actually covered it. I know he talked about it. But the new Xbox controller, I've always said that they're going to make you want the chip. Your children are going to be begging for it as the next controller. You're going to be the controller. Well, you are the controller now. It's chip-free, but it may be even better for them for a surveillance of a home. And how so? Well, the way this thing works is it has a camera, and that camera can do scans of you, can figure out items, transmits. It's constantly hooked up to the Internet, and it's going to be in most families' homes in their living room. So they will literally be able to spy on you on, in your living room through a third-party Xbox device. Oh, I love you, Microsoft. And we're going to play the clips, and I'm going to be commenting while I, while I do so. And Steven Spielberg, for some reason, was on the Xbox site talking about how great this was. So, you know, go to Xbox.com. Go check it out right now. I, I mean, I was, you know, jaw on the floor, couldn't believe that this was what they, I think it's called Project Natal. And there's a story about it over at uh, the InfoWarrior.com right now if you want to check it out. All right, let's... Let's jump to some callers, then we'll play some clips on the other side, do a little bit more of a news blitz. Like I said, top of the second hour, we've got uh, Manny and Lou coming on uh, from wearechange.org, New York. Uh, let's go to Jack in Georgia. Jack, you're on the line. Uh, Jason, I talked to you, I don't know, a couple of months ago. I asked you about uh, Naomi Wolf and uh, Michael Moore, and you had Naomi Wolf on. Yes. I think you ought to have Naomi Wolf on again and uh, put her feet to the fire. See what she thinks about. You know, I've Obama been trying. I, I've actually been on her Facebook page because uh, you know when she came on my show, she said she had just lost, launched a Facebook. It's a fan Facebook, so there's limited interactions. Basically, I can post on her wall, but it doesn't show up. She actually has to get back to me or approve the post for other people to view it. And as soon as uh, they had this city year program where they were doing these uh, military type, you know, huh, 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 commercials. I, I immediately went and I commented on her thing and I asked her to come on the program. I have not heard back from her, but I am going to get my producer on that because I would really like to get her on as well. I mean, we now have Obama openly coming out saying, you know, he's for preventative detention. We just financed the war with another $83 billion, yet they can't find the money to close down Guantanamo Bay. Um, on top of that, City year is a huge issue. I mean, this is the issue. And not only, not only that, they're also training Boy Scouts now to take on terrorists. So, you know, those are some big things that she kind of alludes to in The End of America and in her I, book. I can't believe, I can't believe she would uh, not, you know, think something's going on with this. I just can't believe it. Well, you know what? She was pretty open when I had her on the program. Um, you know, I tried to hold her feet to the fire as much as I could, but I think you're right. I would like to get her on again and really take it to her. But I, I like her. I enjoy a I lot like of her, her work. Too. Yeah, and I think that she's a great gateway to open people up to this information, bring them into InfoWars, bring them into the Alex Jones Show, bring them into the Info Warrior, so that they do start getting real news. Jack, I thank you for the call. We're going to go to... Oh, you got another thing for me, Jack? Is he still there? 
Did you see that Michael Moore statement? No, I haven't. Hold over, Jack. I'll hold you okay. over. We'll, we'll go back to you on the other side. We'll go to Kathy, Rusty, Mark, and more. 866-582-9933. The latest news over at theinfowarrior.com right now. The good old folks at New Silver Solution. And the website is supernaturalsilver.com. Supernaturalsilver.com. Uh, this is something that kills bacteria, viruses, you name it. Well documented. They've got it down to a super small nano-sized particle. Supernaturalsilver.com. Check them out at Infowars.com. Supernaturalsilver.com. And welcome back to the Info Warrior. We're going through your calls. Uh, Jack, Kathy, Rusty, Mark, and more. 866-582-9933. Jack, you had a point about Michael Moore? Okay, did you see his uh, uh, statement on his uh, blog, Goodbye GM? He talks no. about, uh, I'll just read two sentences. Uh, the thing we call cars may have been fun to drive, but they're like a million daggers into the heart of Mother Nature. To continue to build them would only lead to the ruin of our species and much of the planet. He goes on to talk about we need to convert Detroit into building light rail trains and things like this. It sounds to me like he's talking about sustainable development and smart growth. Where and that's unfortunate that he's fallen for that. Now, I am all for those type of trains, the electromagnetic ones. I'm all for, you know, cars that get more miles to the gallon. But, you know, as we've stated on this program, this is a scam to get you to pay a carbon tax on living, on the kind of car you drive, on your home, on how many children you have, on the amount of garbage you use, um, your carbon footprint. And I actually have a really extensive article I'm going to be going over tonight out of the Daily Mail online, a 13-page printout, The Great Carbon Credit Con, Why Are We Paying the Third World to Poison Its Environment? So we're going to get into that later. And it, it is unfortunate that he buys into the Al Gore Kool-Aid. Michael Moore, really good on some issues, not the majority of issues, but some issues he is. I enjoy his films. He's a very talented guy. I think his next pe uh, picture is supposedly going to be about this banking fraud and the Federal Reserve crisis. So we'll see where he goes from there. But he is very, very misinformed on what this carbon system is all about in this, you know, GM crash. They're just trying to get industry out of this country. And a guy who's from Flint, Michigan, should really realize this as his hometown is completely ravaged and destroyed at this point. I thank you for the call, Jack. Kathy in Louisiana, you're on the line. Kathy. Hello? Yes. Uh, Jason is uh, Kathy in Los in California. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Uh, how are you today? Good. Yeah, I want to tell you another event that's coming up. Uh, we're having uh, with the Los Angeles Skywatch dot com and Los Angeles Chemtrails Meetup dot com and our right to breathe healthy air. We'll be having a chemtrail booth on Saturday, June sixth. It's the Venice Carnival two oh nine. 2009. It's on Windward Avenue at Speedway in Venice, California, from 12 noon to 8 p.m. And when and is this? We'll be having all different supplies from chemtrail stickers to flyers. We'll be having like two banners up: the right to breathe healthy air, and a photo of the uh, exact chemtrails that are up there. And we are being hammered here in Los Angeles, as well as the greater state of California. Uh, and this is this weekend, Kathy. Kathy, this is this weekend? Uh, yes, yeah, Saturday, June 6th. All right, well, we hope you have a great turnout, Beach. Kathy. I thank you very uh -huh. much. Let's. I thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go to Rusty in Indiana, or Iowa, I'm sorry. Rusty, you're on the line. Yes, hey, Rusty. How are you doing, sir? Well, I'm pretty good, actually, and uh, I just wanted to, for quite a while, I've actually called in to Alex's show a couple times. This is the first time I think I've talked to you. I might have called him before, but I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Anyway... It's, uh, you know, just kind of sitting here and going through everyday life. It's really amazing how people are snowed by all this. I mean, it's such an ingenious plan to keep everyone in the dark, and it works so well. I mean, apathy is such a disease in this country these days. Anybody under the age of 30 that, that isn't self-involved is, is, you know, hard to find. Seriously, I mean, it just floors me. And, and to prove my point, I was watching The Tonight Show, you know, how Conan took over, Conan O'Brien. So I'm watching that, and I see him like making fun of Obama in some sketch that they have, 
mm-hmm. where they had like Biden talking to Pelosi, I think it was, or mm-hmm. oh, no, it was a new, it was a new uh, justice that they appointed, uh, the Latino lady. So do I. And, uh, yeah, and uh, they had uh, Conan was talking about how uh, Obama was so dignified and how he handled the, everything, and he was. You know, they're basically glorifying and making him sound like he's some great guy. You know, hold over, have, uh, hold over, Rusty, because I really want to talk about that. The mainstream media is still having this love affair with Barack Obama and the people that supported him, no matter what he does, whether he continues the war, whether he destroys this nation economically, well, whether he gives more power to the bankers, are still worshipping him. Why? Why are you not waking up?